We spend a lot of time in our cars, but according to a recent poll, the average distance commuters travel each day is only 16 miles each way, and the average American family will spend over $2,300 on gas and oil this year. But this quirky little car is Nissan's answer to our commuting and fuel economy woes. It's a 100% electric vehicle called the Nissan LEAF. Wheels up, it's full, it was designed from the get-go to be fully electric. Everything about this car has been designed to maximize the range and efficiency of the car. Even things like um, the headlights are designed to redirect the wind flow above and below the side view mirrors. This is not an oversized golf cart. The LEAF is a go-anywhere, do-anything, real-world car with a maximum range of 100 miles per charge. For some, it's the perfect car for daily commute. My family called me to complain about the price of gas the other day. And I said, gas is 3.20 a gallon in our neighborhood. And I'm like, I don't even know what the price of gas is anymore. You can learn more by attending Nissan's Drive Electric Tour. It's a three-day interactive event that travels to cities all across North America, giving people an opportunity to learn more about living with the electric-powered LEAF and seeing how it's engineered. You can even take the LEAF for a test drive. People don't realize this. With an electric car, though, there's not this buildup of power. It's instantly on, right? Exactly. I mean, that's the great thing about electric vehicles. They have 100% torque at zero RPMs. You don't have an engine. You don't have engine noise. There's no transmission in this car, so you don't have that noise to, to cue you as to how fast you're going. Nissan's engineers wanted to be certain that the LEAF could be heard on city streets, so it has a button that activates a science fiction type of sound at speeds less than 15 miles per hour. Electric motors power the front wheels, but it's the battery pack that's the heart of this car. 48 lithium ion batteries like giant laptop batteries. The great thing about the way the battery is set up is that the cells are set up in parallel, mm -hmm. which means if one goes out, the car will still function. The battery's under warranty for eight years or 100,000 miles. So if anything is defective at all, then it would be replaced at no cost to the consumer. So the way you recharge the batteries is use a charging station like this. These will be all over the United States in the next few years, but you can have one installed in your house and you pull the plug and stick it in your car. It takes eight hours to fully charge the LEAF and costs on average $2.75 to fill it up. Also, the LEAF's built-in GPS system will locate the vicinity of the nearest charging station. The base level comes well equipped and starts at $32,780, but qualifies for a federal tax credit of $7,500. When you first sit in the car, the general impression is this very futuristic layout. The fit and finish and the materials are very nice. And these seats, the seats are made from recycled water bottles. They're really comfy. In fact, comfiest water bottles I've ever sat on. All right, let's do this. Being that the batteries are mounted in the floor here, it lowers that center of gravity, allowing this car to, to handle quite well. Here we have an in information center that lets me know exactly what is drawing power from my car at, at this very moment. It's got power when you want it, so if I just kind of give it a little goose, it really, really gets up and goes. Not, not too bad. It's really a fun car to drive, and if you get a chance, you need to come by and check out the Nissan LEAF Drive Electric Tour in your city. You can log on to daytimeonline.tv and we'll link you to their website. I'm Ben Italis for Autofocus.